kind of how we've improved and how we're blocking guys and how we're moving them off the line, you know. I mean, it's not like a number that we're looking at. It's kind of a how we look and how we feel kind of thing, just looking at the film the next day, so. So what's the big difference from last year to this year? Just you guys are a year older, you're better, you're wiser, is it? Got the same guys up front, you know. I mean, it's just about improvement and work on the little things every day, you know. I mean, I'm sure last year everyone wanted us to all transfer out the entire front five, you know, and now, you know, just work it's about getting better every day. What is it you like, because you said watching Caleb run, what, what is it you like when you watch him? I just think he's pretty to watch run. <laughs> I just think he it's looks just, good. It's just that straight Just up. how he runs. I've yeah. never seen anybody run like that. I just think he looks good. Have you told him that? I have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not keeping it a secret. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. Have you guys grown together? You yeah. guys at the offensive line and KJ? It seems like it's pretty... Yeah, I mean, we, yeah, I mean, we were talking, messing around the locker room and stuff. You know, KJ was in my, uh, me and Connor's room the night before the game, you know, messing around. So, yeah, I definitely say we're spending a lot more time together. Brandon seems like he plays the game with like a smile on his face. Do you sure. see that in practice too? And what is that, like, where do you think that comes from? Definitely. I mean, he, I don't really know what the skill guys are doing in practice, but uh, he's definitely smiling a lot, which, I, you know, he kind of like, but I just, I don't know. I'm just listening to him just play calls and stuff. So, yeah. Well, how has he been as like a leader of the offense the last couple of weeks? What have you seen? Yeah, I mean, he's doing a really good job stepping up, you know, and leading and being vocal and being loud about the calls and stuff because, you know, like I'm like half deaf, so he's gotta be, he's got to be loud. <laughs> but he's doing a really good job with that and especially like some of the things he needs to see within the defensive rotation stuff. He's doing a good job with that. So mm -hmm. he's doing a good job stepping up. Yeah. Playing in the Rose Bowl is a big deal. Sure. You excited to get out there? Yeah, I think it'll be really cool going out to the uh, West Coast. I've never, I don't even know what the farthest west I've been. Not very far, so Nebraska. Pretty cool. Nebraska, maybe just like Lojo. <laughs> First East East Bend's Iowa, so <laughs> that's Cambridge. Well, no, he's he's been in games, but yeah. yeah well. <laughs> a lot of teams uh, so far this year in the Big Ten tend to struggle when they go two or more time zones. Um, in the short week this week with the Friday game, is there a way you guys are going to combat that? I mean, I don't think it really matters at all the short week, and then the time zone too. I don't think it matters. I mean. You know, people want to make excuses for why they lost. That's on them, you know. So, I mean, I, yeah, I guess that's about it. <clears throat> Someone may have asked you, but uh, have you been to California? No. Mm -mm. Never no. been there. Uh, heading to L.A. for the first time in, in kind of just a, a storied venue, the Rose Bowl, which I'm guessing when you were looking at colleges years ago, you weren't thinking, hey, I was going to be playing UCLA in a regular season game. But it's kind of a cool opportunity, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it'd definitely be cool to go out to California and just see it. You know, I've never been out there, and I got a buddy that lives out there. He's in the Marines, so I called him up the other day, and I was asking about the weather and stuff, and it's supposed to be pretty nice out there on Saturday, and it's been nice this week, so that'll be even better, you know, so it'll be a good time. How are the young guys coming along behind you? I don't know if, if you get a sense of, like, you know, like the Leighton Jones, the Trevor Locks. We've seen people Like the second-year guys or the first-year guys? Yeah, just like, yeah, the second-teamers, you know, like the, yeah, the young guys, though. Not like the young and then, but like Not the, the young, young guys, but the younger guys? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're doing a good job, you know. I mean, I think that uh, Trevor, he's definitely one of the most talented kids that I've probably seen at tackle, really? you know, but he's just got a couple things he's got to work on. And then, you know, Dotes is definitely taking strides, you mm -hmm. know. I mean, would have been Monday. He had his best practice I've ever seen him have. Wow. He just got to start drinking more black coffee, I think. I think that'll help him out. That's what I told him. <laughs> what do you mean? You need to wake up or what? I don't know. More he's got to quit eating so much yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, the young guys are definitely doing good things. And then Peep's stepping up and Leighton's yeah. stepping up. And I don't think I'm forgetting anybody. Croak's doing a good job. Locke's right behind you, right? And uh, Trevor? Yeah, the right tackle. isn't. I think that's where he is in the depth chart. Yeah, him and – him and, uh, I mean, him and Dose kind of play both tackles, okay. you know. Yeah. They're not, like, locked at kind of one tackle, but, yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like the past couple of weeks, this 